while Australians have overwhelmingly backed the bid to send a Roo to the moon. The first Aussie-made lunar rover will be named Roover. It's the winner of a public poll. And as science and tech correspondent Breno Hallon reports, Roover could help humans hop from the moon to Mars. So many have marvelled at it, so few have tread its surface. One giant leap for mankind. Soon, a remote-controlled Aussie explorer will join privileged company, and we finally know its name. Ruva is the name that has been chosen by the Australian people uh, for what will be Australia's first rover that goes to the moon. Ruva the rover beat Mateship, Kakira and Kulamon in the Australian Space Agency poll voted by 20,000 Australians. It's playful, it's fun. It's uniquely Australian. It won't be mistaken for anything else that's, uh, that's happening in space right now. Ruva will be part of NASA's Artemis missions, a series of endeavours aiming to return humans to the moon. It will launch later this decade, no earlier than 2026. And this may be what it'll look like. Now we're looking at our first prototype of the moon rover. Katie Doyle is part of one of two teams designing a potential rover. The space agency will pick one of them at a later date. The design process involves experts in multiple fields and has broad benefits. And that technology can also be used here on Earth in places like underground mine sites as part of the resource sector and even in the defence space. The 20 kg suitcase sized rover will land near the moon's south pole where scientists previously identified ice. Over 14 days it'll scoop up moon soil or regolith and bring it back to a yet to be designed NASA made module which will process it. Now, Ruva will do all of this in 100 degree heat with little guidance and without GPS. The lunar environment is very harsh, very extreme. We don't actually know um, what we're going to be uh, traversing across when we get, you know, when we get onto the lunar surface. Ruva will help determine how material from the moon could be turned into rocket fuel to allow future astronauts to springboard from the moon to Mars and perhaps inspire the next generation of Australian spacefarers. We have collectively come together as a nation and we now have a project that we can all throw our support behind as it heads to the moon later this decade. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.